yeah, just to reiterate, I, f I finished after this uh, storm just now. Like, let's scroll down for this. Um, is it? Where is it? Come on, it's gotta be somewhere. I probably scrolled past it already. This is not what I'm looking for, but like here after the storm, finish this with all 13 scenarios. And uh, what I'm gonna play next, let's let's find it. It's going back to mainland, but related to after the storm and invasion from the unknown. Here. Under the burning sands, uh, back to the mainline version of time timeline, basically. In the distant future, a small band of elves struggles to survive amidst the ruins of fallen empires. Lead your people out of the desert on an epic journey to find a new home. That's what I'm gonna play next. It's the Queen of Elves we found on Zogdanol on that island. Uh, but something, it's something that might less well known which, what I'm gonna play afterwards. Just gonna read it out first. Once there was a small village called Rapless. It was an ordinary village, full of ordinary people with ordinary lives. But when Wauda's life suddenly turned upside down, the young Drake was forced to explore the community, unearth its hairy secrets and rally the citizens to set things right. Voyage of a Drake is an rest of RPG unlike any other. Instead of focusing on collecting items or leveling skill trees, this campaign is about interacting with complicated NPCs and non-player characters and completing puzzles, minigames and boss fights. Come prepared for a few hours of unique gameplay and rich, abundant dialogue. I've played this one before and I can attest it. It holds what it promises. And it was really enjoyable too. Anyway, but first, under Bluenix Sands. The usual drill, predictor RNG, that means comic remains, outcome remain constant when we're loading, and it's basically default RNG, uh, but without the reloading alt and things. And on a hardest difficulty on Champion Nightmare. Also, what I should add, I think, it's the mainland campaign, so the, ch uh, the usual challenge applies. No saves coming at all, no reloading, unless to directly the start of the now. Also, once again, it's a new campaign, and unlike in the last stretch of After the Storm, I do have some units available. Units I can name after viewers if they are so inclined. Anyway. Just roll call who's with me, who's watching and not watching. Nope, can Okay, we've got two uh, voices already. And uh, we've also got a first claim to a unit. Yotena wants a Queen of Sunsinger. Cat Pigmort is here and Iggy Toad is also here. And since I'm only seeing few three viewers on my screen, actually somehow only two, uh, we ha should already be complete with that. So let's start. Note: This campaign is probably not appropriate for beginners. It changes certain versions of standards, such as the elf stats and the day-night circle. This campaign emphasizes role-playing elements and tends to have longer to have longer scenarios with objectives change in the middle. For these reasons, we strongly suggest that you occasionally save your game mid-scenario, so you won't lose all your progress if you get stuck and have to start over. So, uh, also something to get out first. Um, Yotena is pretty interested in how hard it's going to be because they played it before the uh, somewhat recent rework and it wasn't that hard. And Cat Bingwood is, con uh, is commenting on the cool soundtrack that I'm running. 
This is the chronicle of the journey of the Queen of Elf from the homeland in this great southern desert. I write the story so that our descendants may know of our travels, remember the sacrifices we made, and profit from the hard lessons we learned. Chapter 1 I, Kelly, grew up amid the shifting sands, and our two sons, Zela and Naya. It was a land of hot, dry days and cold nights, of roaming horrors, the water was more valuable than gold. We had lived among the sands ever since the forest fell uncounted years ago. It was a hard and savage land, but we were tougher still, and we managed to survive settled around one of the rare oases. We had heavily fortified our village against marauders, and were the largest encampment we knew of. My uncle, Tainuel, led us for many years and trained us to be self-sufficient and strong against all enemies, a people struggling in an ocean of sand. We, we, we thought we were ready for anything. All that changed one fateful night when the sky, when the sky rained fire. I remember that night as if it were yesterday. I was not prone to dreaming, but as I slept I had a strange vision. I didn't have long to ponder it though, because I was awoke in the dark by the sound of deafening crashes, splinting wood and shouting elves. That night the sky rained flaming rocks, boulders bigger than you could imagine. They smote the landscape like lightning bolts setting fire to whatever could burn and crushing houses, walls and elves. There was nowhere to hide, nowhere to go for protection. I was terribly afraid, and I thought that if I tried to flee I would be smashed, and so I hid and prayed to Elo. I had never prayed as fervently as I did that night. I had cries and screams outside, but I could not force myself to move. Eventually, the thin yellow tendrils of a sickly dawn stole over the horizon. As if Naya herself was shocked by the devastation she saw. Hey, Kelly! Are you in there? Nim, is that you? Yes, come out already. The storm has passed. With the morning light, Naya has ended a terrible night. Has the sky really stopped falling? I already told you, the sky is clear and empty. Now come quickly, silly. Others may need our help. What's happened? Oh, Elo, the craters are everywhere. Everything is gone, ruined. I can hardly recogni recognize our village. I didn't think it could be this bad. Come on, Kelly. We have to see if anyone is hurt or needs help. I think I hear people calling from the south. Now is not the time for fear. We must be strong. After all, you are the nephew of Taniel, our leader, and you must answer the call of duty. Perhaps in the light of days, things won't be as bad as you think. Let's explore the village and see who, hel who else has survived the night. Wait, our keep is just to the east. Our leader Tanuil must surely be recruiting others to help you with the devastation. Perhaps we should go to the keep before we explore the rest of the village. Rescue surviving elves. No early finish bonus and no gold carried over to the next scenario. Also you can see that I've got no income despite possessing a village. And as you can see Villages don't give me gold. I don't have income. There's also, at most, I get um, support by gaining villages. Kali, Nim, help us! What in Uria's name is that? They came with the stones from that fell from the sky. I know not what they are, but more seem to be emerging from the craters. If we don't stop them. There will be nothing left of our village or our people. To battle, my friends! There are still those left. There are still those left who can fight. 
Um, yep, your tender day do reference Oria on Yep, that's where Iris got a name as well. So, I'm not gonna explain the units here because, well, no one's asked so far. wants to know more about those feel free to ask I, I can always explain but they are more or less part of mainline so I'm not gonna Ooh. okay this was close I was really scared of this one dying and then this one attacking Kala as well so I might have actually instantly died by the way tower of riders can have the healthy straight healthy trait see it's just nice you know like on the other hand, those guys can, but luckily they also can get the Dexter straight, which um, the Tauros can have. Strong, intelligent, resistant. Oh, I think Tauros can't be quick, is it? Yep, yep, they can't. The small one is altered, yep. The small mud crawler has a melee attack, as Cat Big Mod pointed out. Like, it's more or less new because um, or at later it's it's somewhat unique for this campaign because uh, when you usually see in mud crawler they don't have a melee attack they only have a ranged attack anyway I so the keep should be right there right Tynel's keep our beautiful fortress it is destroyed how will we summon our people to battle we must rally those survivors so we can find and amidst the rubble. It doesn't look like anyone survived. But at least we can thank Elo, it was a quick death. But come on, we can't dwell on the dead, we must help the living. But if Taniel is dead, who will lead us? That's a question for another time. Let's keep exploring the wreckage. So let me just... Check if I've got something to drink. Just to okay, so I noticed that I wanted to fill up my water fl uh, flask, but. I forgot to do so, so I should at best do it now, so I don't die of first or something, or, but, or at least so I can still keep feeling comfortable. So I'm back in like one minute and Yotenda was pointing out that the butt crawlers are 3 XP, nothing else. Not wrong, but at this part of the scenario they can still be dangerous because they almost outnumber me. Anyway... Uh, on right, I agree. Nim is great. It's like she's the decisive one right now. I'm back in. And I'm back and less thirsty. Okay. Okay. Um, let's just beat them up. First of all, Kali needs a village. Sorry, that's that's on me, but it is what it is. 
Damn. No, damn it. I was hoping I could take this one out with one hit. But it is not the case. Like you can see maybe now what I mean with them being a threat at this point. They do deal quite some damage. And if I'm not hitting them at all, then of course it hurts a lot. So These fields seem strangely vacant. Where are the dust box? Maybe they are hiding in the stables. Let's go check. Is it safe to come out? I was so scared. Where are all the other dust box? A hunting party left just yesterday. So, unless the rocks fell all over the land, many of the dust box have probably survived. The few that remained here were scared by the falling rocks and fled into the night. It took all my skill to claim uh, to calm Yazi and keep him from running. From running. We need your help in checking to see if the outer settlement survived. Who knows what kinds of damage they suffered in the night? And perhaps some of the people people out in the desert have been able to round up some of the loose dusties. We can only hope that the, we can only hope that hunting party returns soon. Hey, Nisen! The rocks have stopped falling. You can come out now. Oh, thank Elo. I thought they would never stop. Mm, nice. Okay, so there's obviously some places outside. This camp is empty. I wonder what happened to the inhabitants? Let's continue. This is our finding ground. And look, there's Garak, the captain of the Gird. He and his fighters have survived the night. But they are fighting many mud creatures. Quick, we must help them. I I've honestly, I'm not sure how to do different voices for Nim and Kali. They, they, feel, they, they feel very similar to me. So first of all... Like formation. This unit gains a 10% bonus to defense uh, when another unit with the same abilities or the arms into it. However, this cannot raise the unit's defense above 70%. So basically, all three of them now have a 70% chance to dodge incoming attacks. Because they are on sand, which is provides 60% base. Plus uh, plus 20% but only up to uh, 70% so no, actually also this guy has a teaching ability at the start of every turn this unit redistributes its experience to all the units of the same side at the answer to it if no suitable unit is at the answer its experience just goes back to zero so and I would like to focus my XP on this one like on one unit instead of both, instead of both. So yeah, let's do that. Also, let's close in on the people from this side too. So this one is healthy, so he's he doesn't need the village as much as the other people, in a way. Whoa, they're really aggressive. I don't like them. So yeah, he got the XP from him. And it's pretty useful actually. Also means technically I can use him to finish off strong enemies. And then just have him redistribute the XP to other units. Disengage. Nope, that's not the case. Okay, so I also should uh, note that my units are lawful, so if I want to fight it would be best if I did it at daytime instead of nighttime like I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, and Garrick has 
1000 XP to level up. It's just to assure that uh, there's no way of him actually uh, leveling up in one turn and, well, wasting all that XP on him. More of those muddy crawlers. Let's get rid of them with haste. It seems he has regained his composure. Nice. Like, like remember previously when he was still in, in the place, he was very scared and not exactly able to make calm calls like he's doing now. So that's improvement indeed. So let's speed those ones back first. Boom. Ouch. So let's do it like this. Ah, oh, yes. Who? This village is new. Like, um, the last time I played this, there were no villages down there. There were only some over here and those two down there and yeah the map has changed also a little bit so it's also nice and please don't die save me Kali I'm dying <laughs> oh yeah let's restart back to turn one ah oh, this is awkward anyway no I'm not gonna uh, so reading all all this stuff again, I'm just gonna get on with it. So yeah, it was a these it was a fail. Uh, basically, why this happened? I really wanted for Nim to get the XP Garrick has for her. Um, and so I let him kind of fight without back if they apparently needed. Uh, so yeah, that did not work out. Die. Ford Fallen. But yeah, you can see... Um, doesn't seem that hard actually and this time I also managed to focus XP on this one so I'm gonna have a level 2 unit in a moment like one more fight basically and then I'm there okay encampment is empty and stuff okay so this doesn't count how close do I have to get okay that's surprising um, I'm still gonna do it like this because basically uh, my elves have a better cha uh, chance to dodge on um, this stuff uh, so it's kind of smarter to take advantage of it. Also let's speed this up a little bit. Previously, I didn't play as well and had to, well, take more of a break before I could re-engage. Um, I gotta remove this one and only one can reach, so he's safe. And everyone over there is safe as well, so that's also great. The good thing is he had um, four XP, so he could share. His, he could distribute the gained XP equally between both units. So let's send this one over there to other outlying settlements, and let's back off for now. Like, there's really no reason for me to fight them, right? to be aggressive at night so I'm just gonna be a bit more defensive this is not my fight right now and this one 
so I can make use of the disengage ability. Like disengage is if this unit doesn't move. Oh, oh, good. Some elves have survived in this outer settlement. They've agreed to help us search for other survivors. Same here. So that's nice. Is there any other place down there that I don't know of? I don't know. So disengage if this unit doesn't move before attacking, it will retain movement points after it attack. Useful. Like, of course they get hurt, but now they can just back off and... Well... Heal. Boom. And now he directly feeds his XP to this Queen of Soldier. Queen of Fighter, to be precise. Huh. I think the Tower of Riders require the least XP amount of XP between all of them. At least that's how it feels right now. So, do I want a Tower of Vanguard with leadership? Or do I want a Tower of Stalwart who's steadfast? And considering that this one is healthy and strong, but not resilient. Uh, I'm gonna go with Vanguard. Like if if I get a resilient Tarok, I'm totally gonna go for a st for stat fa for the Stalwart. But I don't have one right now, so nah. Right, uh, just as a reminder, your tender called out to have a, what's it called, a sun singer? Oh, it's, it's a shaman advancement, but I don't have shamans quite yet, but I will have them soon. So, and I'm gonna immediately name unit after that. Just shouldn't forget that about it, that would be quite nice. Then let's add wands a bit more. So I'm gonna place this one here because Garak is going to be attacked by this one and this one and those two XP is directly gonna feed to this Queen of Fighter. Not a drop of XP is to be wasted. And I forgot to move the fighter up there. Whoops. This place reeks of death. I could smell it from miles away. Oh, how I love it. It is the smell of power. The inevitable triumph of death over life. Puny elves, I shall use the corpses of your families to create an army of undead. All shall down, bow down before Xantos the Necromancer. This timing couldn't be worse. I know that undead cultists often prey on small targets, but they haven't had the guts to attack us for years. Why has Elo heaped so much misfortune upon us? Bah, I fought these dark cultists before. They can be killed by just like anyone else, and our riders can easily defeat the skeleton armies. I've heard of your kind, full necromancer. You travel the sands, daring to bring back and enslave those who have passed on. But we will prove to you that death is not all-powerful. You shall not desecrate the bodies of my kith and kin. You shall learn the wrath, to fear the wrath of the Elo and the Queen of Elves. Are you tender? Just... Why, got you, why do you have to be so mean to the necromancer? He's, he's plenty powerful, honestly. Like, seriously. Especially considering I can't recruit units and I'm in trouble right now. Like the, the mud monsters and I still haven't freed the shamans as well, so... I've got my work cut out for me right now. So why am I not attacking from here or here? I'm trying to avoid uh, placing a unit next to him. So he 
absolutely and guaranteed gets the XP from this attack, uh, from Garak. Like this one XP which obviously can't be shared between two people. Whoops. The encampment is empty. I wonder what happened to the inhabitants? Don't ask me. Find out yourself. Oh, there's a second village. And let's see the undead. Yeah, I like. Let's already move there. Especially during daytime, I can fight them off quite well. at least the skeletons of them and yeah let's get some s nope I'm not gonna risk that let's do it like this like he's gonna level up now and that's quite nice actually this bridge leads to the holy island at the center of isle of, of our lake huh. some of the druids that worshipped on the that worship on the island may still be alive we should go and check. Be careful. The bridge is broken, so we'll have to wade through the shallow water. True, but necessary nonetheless. So to avoid this one attacking me over there. Anyway, this one gotta go to a village. There's a unit down there. I kinda forgot about that. Um, let's explore this. So, no shadow left. Um, anyone else? This one? Okay, no one else. Whoo, I kinda didn't notice how little XP I got left. This one obviously needs to back up. And how do I, do I do that best? Like what I did there, I made sure that this one profits from leadership and from the formation uh, bonus. At least as much as was possible. Okay. I admit, um, going for a flanker right now was not a good idea, it's considering I fight under next. Whoops. Some of our people felt crowded in a village and wanted to live out on this open sands. They thought they could flee to the safety of our walls if danger came. I shudder to imagine what may have become of them. So why am I saying this enemy, uh, this enemy necromancer is plenty strong? He's recruiting level 2 units, so there's that. Basically survival of the fittest even for the undead. If you're not some really strong... Oh snap. If you're not some really strong um, necromancer dude, you don't survive outside anyway. Also, no one there as well. Let's see if there's anything else down out there. I don't think so. Anyway, bye, gotta run and... Snap, I'm pretty sure I doomed this. <laughs> yep, they can still reach. This one is so dead. Snap. The great tree! It has been built under the rocks, our most holy sanctuary, defiled. Oh, Elo, what should we? Do? What shall we do? Is anyone still alive? Finally, we were worried that no one else had survived. Mother Priestess, are you all right? There's no time to stand on ceremony. I'm fine. I'm afraid only a few of us have survived. But we will lend you what skills we have. Show me those who need healing. But a great, but a great tree, it has been destroyed. 
all things of this world may come to an end, but the power of Elo endures, a new one shall grow in its place. Come now, let us see it to the needs of our people. So, I'm still supposed to rescue surviving elves. Okay, so where are they? And of course I'm not supposed to defeat Santos, this guy over there. I can try. Not gonna be easy. So... The water of the lake suddenly goes dark and unsettled. Only to erupt in a swarm of tentacles the moment the first elf set foot off the island. What an Uriah's name is that? I felt the great darkness in this lake, but I knew not what it was. The falling rocks must have awoke, must have woken it from its sleep. Protect the priestesses. We shall send this monstrosity back to the depths where it came from. So, your tender sadly, this cuttlefish is not named Inky, but Deep One. I know, I know, it's a, it's a shame, but we have, we'll have to deal with it. So, poison is neutralized, that's great. Um, let's help out over there and finish this one off. Cat Bigamot, not everyone hates cuttlefish. We don't. At least, I don't. And all the people that voted for Inky's quest uh, didn't eat it. But to be fair, everyone in Inky's quest did hate Inky, so... Maybe I'm not really making a convincing argument. Okay, Nisen is probably gonna die as well, because honestly... They face the same problem as Nazu did just now. So any other places where I could find more people? No. Then why is my quest... Oh, I probably have to defeat the last of the mud crawlers and... Of course, get Zul off that play away from there. Finally! Ha! They are destroyed at last. So, right, those were. Uh, this was one of this. Uh, after Mud Crawlers from the training place. Thanks for the help. I am glad to see that so many have survived the night. But there is no time to talk. We must save the rest of our people and crush these earthen abominations. Okay. Cool. First of all, what does Days exactly do? When hit with this attack, an enemy suffers a 10% penalty both to the defense and chance to hit for one turn. Okay, let's do that then. That's like, seems worthwhile to me. Snap. Okay, final. Okay, so I should be able to survive that because swarm attack is basically disabled at this point and the poison attack isn't strong enough to kill them at once. Oh, yeah, and your tender is not wrong, the bat is pretty strong. Both of them are. Okay, I'm still alive but not for much longer and the undead are advancing. I've thrown two Queen of Scouts away. It's 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 a shame, honestly. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! First of all, this one has to go. Boom. Then I'm gonna do it like this. Give all the XP to my Queen of Mystic. Who's gonna be your tender, by the way? That way I won't forget. And yep, bye Inky. True. Then I gotta advance on the undead and I gotta do it smarter than I pre previously. Uh, because really I took losses, I can't afford... Uh, like I, I don't have recruits, I don't have recalls, I don't have anything except the stuff I've got on the map. 
And I basically only lost two of them. Boom! One bat down, one another one appears. Great. Ha! Ah. So let's do it like this. Uh, Yutena stays next to Zul, so she doesn't succumb to the poison. Uh huh. Uh, and let's move them. Yep. Ah, <sighs> two out of three scouts are already dead. This is okay. Out of four scouts, because I picked um, up twos from somewhere else. No, no. I forgot that he's there. I forgot that they're both there. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm. I think I'm just gonna call it a day for today. I'm clearly not in the state of mind that can play this. And I don't see a point in messing up one more time. Yep, and Yotena is not wrong, at least the scouts will be alive once more, once I've restarted the scenario itself. But so far, I, just something I really want to point out, I didn't lose because I had no chance and it was too hard, but because I genuinely messed up, placed important units where they had no place to be, I mean, I literally just forgot that Kelly was over there and let him get attacked, not... It was completely avoidable. That's what makes us so sad. It wasn't even a particularly stressful situation. Anyway... I'm gonna call it a night right now and... Thanks for watching, even though you just had to watch me... F uh, Tail and nothing else. See you next time and I promise I'll do better. <laughs>